Hey there everybody, Thet here, and welcome to the Paladins Beta. Paladins is a game from Hi-Res Studios. They made Smite, a game which I played a lot of a couple years back. Now, it was kind of in the time when I was not doing a lot of recordings. I really got into playing Smite casually. I never got into competitive modes or anything like that, but I really, really enjoyed playing it. I was already a big fan of mythology, so taking that over to being able to play as gods... Uh, really made it basically my first MOBA type game and something that I enjoyed a lot. So they have now just made another game called Paladins. Fun fact, uh, one of the lead designers on Paladins, uh, Drybear, he got his start making videos for Smite. Doing videos on the various gods and doing breakdowns of them and things like that. Just a little fun fact for you in case you didn't know that. We are going to concentrate on Paladins, however, uh, which is a team-based shooter. Uh, it's an objective-based team shooter. That's how I should phrase it. You're, you have objectives on the map, and you're on a team, and your goal is to complete your objectives and avoid or keep the enemy from completing theirs. So basically TF2, except everyone has special powers. That, I mean, that's also... Basically Overwatch. People are saying that Paladins has been taking a whole lot of inspiration from Overwatch. I don't know if that's true or not. Only because I haven't played Overwatch. I'm not saying it is true. I'm not saying it's not. Uh, from what I've seen as far as few direct compar character comparisons, I can see how that's gotten started. I don't know 100%. I'm not going to pursue it any farther because I don't play Overwatch. But we are going to play some Paladins here. <laughs> and... I'm going to start with this guy, Fernando. I played some of him uh, going through my bot games. Until you get to level 5 for your account, you play against bots. So I did that. Played against all those bots. I grew to really like playing as Fernando. He is a tank. And his entire play style is basically absorbing damage and being in the face of your enemies. So he has a short range flame lance, which does a little bit of damage over time. As well as, of course, burning them. Um, a shield, which is his his main gameplay mechanic, is his shield. It absorbs 8,000 damage. It's big, it can, and the enemies can't shoot through it, of course. They can only shoot the shield itself. Um, the charge allows, is it like a short dash in one direction. The damage is not that great, but the dash helps for getting in or out of combat, I imagine, as well. Fireball goes through enemies, deals some damage to the first one, and a lot more to the enemies after that. And it also has their healing potential. And Immortal, which is his ultimate ability, which has to be charged up before it can be used. Um, it basically makes his entire team immortal for a couple seconds. Uh, it, it makes it so that their health can't go below a certain amount. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do a casual. There's Siege and Payload. Payload is basically one team gets this payload full of bombs and treasures, and they have to push it to the other enemy team's base, and then the enemy does the same thing, and whoever pushes it farthest uh, wins. Siege is a little bit different, and it's actually the mode that I prefer a little bit. Siege is a mode where you start with a point on the map, and you struggle for control of that point. Whichever team gains control, then gains a payload, and they push that to the enemy's base, and if they successfully push it, they get a second point. So, you get one for... I'm going to go ahead and grab Fernando right now. You get one point for capturing the point on the ground, and then you get another one for pushing. But if you don't push it in time, your opponent will get a point. So, we'll get into the actual game, and we'll learn more about that as it goes on. Looking at what we have here, I'm playing as Fernando, of course. I'm the frontline tank. Uh, we have Victor, who is a... He's really just the FPS guy. He has a, the assault rifle. He has some grenades. He's basically... If you put call, if you want to grab a Call of Duty character and put him in this game. Uh, Ying is a healer. Sky is a flanker. So her main goal is to get behind the enemy line and take them out from there. Kinesa, I believe... I don't remember if Kinesa is a flanker or a, another damage-dealing character. Uh, but that doesn't matter. We're going up against uh, Victor, Drogos, Fernando, Cassian, Ruckus. Ah, Fernando against Fernando. I love Fernando. His personality is great. Oh, this game, like all of the other high-res games, has a great little in-game uh, talk system. I guess you could say you are so that you can speak to your allies. Uh, let's see, VVGL is good luck. And there's one for have fun too, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. Anyway, match will start in 25 seconds. Go ahead and 
check out our abilities here, our shield, and our fireball. And now we get to buy some abilities for Fernando. I'm going to start... Let's see, what do they have on their team again? Um, oh, he's this guy is all about AoE damage. I'm going to grab Blast Shields. That will reduce our damage from AoE by 10%. Because he has rockets. Okay. So let's begin. We get this little nifty horse. Uh, you can't attack while you're on the horse, but it helps you get back into the fight faster. It's nice. It is. It's nice. And we're getting to the point. And there's the point. And the enemy got here first, which is which sucks. But and now we're just basically going to shield. I'm going to stay on the point because I don't want to make sure we. I don't want to lose it for our team if I can help it. And then I'm going to step back. Um, oh, I did not use my dash in time. Ah well, not a big deal. This guy, Ruckus. I don't know anything about him, but he seems amazing. Also, I love the UI for him. With the uh, with the panel there and everything. I love the idea of that character so much. Anyway, we are we are not having a good time on this game here. And by which I mean we're not... Uh, we're, they're pushing the point pretty hard. That's okay. We actually seem to have pushed them all the way. I don't feel like I need to join that as much as I need to just hold this point here. I could put up the shield, but I'm not going to waste it for that. That really would be a waste. Um, now I'm getting shot up pretty hard. I'm still going to hold this point for a while. I'm going to hold up. It, there is someone behind me. Guys, yeah, there's someone up there. And I don't think uh, our team knows about it. I really don't think our team knows about him. Victor is up there in an area where he, I can't get to because I don't know the layout of, the, layout of this map. <laughs> Here we go. I think someone else got him, though. Okay, now I know the layout of this map better. I feel like we're safer. You regenerate health when you're not in combat, which is great. Let's just go ahead and... Yeah. I'm just going to hit... I'm going to stay on this point here. Stay as far up as I can. All right. You know what? The shield can stay up for a long time, thankfully. But we're going to get this point. Yeah, we got it now. I'm gonna, I don't know how well you can hide behind the payload, per se. I'm not doing much damage, but I'm trying to work the objective instead. I don't know how well that's working, <laughs> to be honest, but I, I think... I'm going to assume it is. There we go. This is a silly fight, <laughs> and he knows it, but I'm keeping him out of the fight. So if our damage dealers are better than theirs, I helped out our team a lot. If their damage dealers are better than mine, I just hurt us a lot, <laughs> basically. Finish her off. Okay, good. Now we can join the fight. Let's see if I can't stay behind him. I am apparently revealed. That's okay. He's burning now. Okay. That was pretty good. I, I, I think I surprised him pretty hard there. See. Okay, they can shoot through that. I did not know that before. But I do know that now. Okay, she's got him. I don't know where our vulnerabilities are on this map, unfortunately. Because I don't know hardly anything about it. <laughs> We are now basically at a shield wall. Uh, nothing's happening. Because this is where we're at. Now you see one of ours behind there. Alright. Just avoid the damage. I do have my immortal. If we start to get in a lot of trouble, I can pop that. But I think we're going to push this point. I think we got this point hard. I'm just standing behind him at this point. That's probably hurting him a lot. Oh. Okay. I just wasted my ultimate because I didn't think we had to push that far. But that's okay. I, I'm garbage. Uh, but I knew I was garbage. We actually didn't... I don't think I did too bad there. I don't think. Uh, let's see. Additional healing when out of combat. Life steal. Extra healing from other players. Getting a kill or elimination heals you for health. This seems like a good idea. Because I'm in the front line, I should be getting eliminations. Which is just the fancy way of saying assist for your kills. I should be able to get those at a decent pace, I think. I could get cooldown for my abilities or I could get the morale boost. Which will get my ultimate charging faster. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And we actually started, so I better get out there. I'm leaving my team behind. Actually, they're leaving me behind. I'm the garbage one. Who'd have thought? That'd be everybody. But that's beside the point. We have two points. Their team has no points. We are kicking the butts. As of right now. Alright, I'm going to get right in here. I'm going to pop my shield. Like, this girl is just right in there. Alright. How's our shield doing? Still has half health. 
Our shield is fine. Now we can pop this. She's gone. Let's get out of the line of fire here. Oh, man, that ruckus. That mech, man. Someone's taking him out, though. Someone's doing real damage to him, and I like it. All right. Get back, get back. Stand back. Get our health back a little bit. We're not entirely worried about him too much, especially when I can just do this. He is ulted, so there's no point in attacking him right now. Wait for it to run out. Wait for it to run out. Pop with fireball. That's how you do it. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I don't know if I got that off in time. I think I did. But either way, I've got the point. We're holding hard here. Get out of my house. <laughs> this is my point. You cannot have... I'm dead. I'm going to be so dead. Okay, woo. I needed to get out. Just for a second. My health goes up much faster here than waiting for me to respawn. So, this is a better move. Okay. Hold. We are at a... We're at a stalemate right now. Myself and this other one. I have less health, though, so if things... Yeah, things are getting bad. All right. Good, good, good. He, we actually drove him off. I can't believe I... I can't believe we drove him off. That's okay. You know, I just started this game, so I'm not playing against... You know, I'm playing against people who are at my level. That's probably the only reason why I look like I'm doing as well as I am. I'll take it. Oh, wow, that was a good shot. Apparently, Kinesa is a big damage dealer. So, either that, or she's a flanker who just has a really good time against the DPS enemies. That could be true as well. I saw you back here. I don't know... Can they come through this building? Now nah, you know what? I... Am, I will take you on here, Mr. Fernando. Look at him drop that shield! We, we, we made him drop his shield right away. Oh, that was good. I think I, think I just out-muscled him there. Oh, that hurt. A little bit. Not a lot, though. Think you scare me? You think you scaring me? You don't scare me. Good job, Kinesa. Man, I can't believe we're pushing that hard. All right, we're gonna put up our shield here. This is gonna allow us to push hard. Yeah, we we have we have zone control. I feel like I have that in the bag. That's probably just from me playing Smite before, to be honest, though. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a lot of damage coming our way. That's all right. There we go. We got him. We shut him up. All right. My health is low, but I'm not afraid because I have the ult for one. All right. I'm. I could get flanked from there. I don't know the layout of the map well enough to not know that I can't. Okay. I need to let my shield recharge and let my health recharge. So I'm gonna sit here for a minute. I mean, I know that's gonna stall the point, but. We have 48 seconds, and the point is actually pretty high up. I'm not in terribly worried. My old is ready, buddy. I don't know what your excuse is. <laughs> you can't shield from behind, sucker! All right, awesome. We're in great shape. I think we. I think we've won. To be honest, I think we've straight up won. I'm gonna ult right here. And we have this in the bag. I, I, You know what? We died, but I think we can push this. Come on, team. I thought we had this in the bag. Go, go, go. Push. Yes. She did it. Awesome. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's siege mode. Basically, you, you get the point, and then you push the payload. You do that twice in a row without the opponent being able to push back or grab the point at all. And you win. Uh, most shielding, of course. I was the only one with a shield on our team. Most objective time. So that, that was what I was pushing. So I'm happy I got that, to be honest. Gold, victory, accolades, blah, blah, blah. I, I haven't really gone had time to go over all this stuff. Scores, I don't really know much about this either. I apparently had the most credits. I, I That's just money. I don't know, know what else that means. 16 and 2, I think, is good. This, our victor, man, was killing it. Look at that. Like a champion. But that is Fernando, and this is Paladins, guys. I, I'm enjoying this game a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the champions, Fernando. Like, his his play style of up close and personal, plus his tankiness, I, I'm attracted to him immediately. I play, I like to play tanks when I used to play MMOs. 
Uh, I played a few of them, like City of Heroes. Uh, I never played World of Warcraft, but I played a couple of others. Um, Dark Age of Camelot, if anyone even remembers what that is. <laughs> but I like to play the tanks. And Fernando is a tank with a lot of zone control. Like He, he, he can control his zone, specifically. He, he can't really push people out of it. But he can do a lot of damage in it and prevent a lot of damage if he needs to. So that's what, that's what I like about him. What, what else can I say? He's, he's a good guy. But if you did enjoy this video, guys, this gameplay of Paladins, let me know. Give it a like and comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of this particular game and of Fernando as well. If you want to see some more champions being played here, there's a whole list of them. You can let me know that in the comment section below. And, of course, subscribe for more if you want to see some more Paladins as well. Until then, folks, I'm the Man. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.